Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to talk to you about the Lord being our source. If we look at Exodus chapter 17, verses 1 through 7, Then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin, according to the commandment of the Lord, and camped in Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people complained against Moses and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, What shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people, and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water will come out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. So he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah because of the contention of the children of Israel and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? So is the Lord with us or not? That, that's really their question. Yet notice these two things that had already occurred and were occurring. Exodus chapter 16, verse 35, And the children of Israel ate manna forty years until they came to an inhabited land. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. God supplied them with this bread every day for forty years. Every day they had this reminder, this came from God. Now, yes, they then took it and made other things out of it, but he supplied this to them. All they had to do was gather it. They didn't have to plant it or grow it. And if we look back at Exodus 13, verses 21 through 22, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so as to go by day and night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day, or the pillar of fire by night from before the people. The Lord guided them with a visible presence, a column of cloud by day and fire by night. They knew he was there with them. There could be no doubt, right? Yet they asked, Is the Lord among us or not? The Israelites are a very good example of all of us in general. We dismiss the miracles right in front of us. We are quick to forget our blessings and all that God has done for us and all that He gives us. We're quick to blame God for hard times and bad things, just like they were blaming Moses. We're quick to ask, where is God when he is right here with us all the time? Remember this from James, James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. God is always the same. He's always here for us every day. Let's thank God for all our blessings and remember that He is our source of all good things. So I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.